Gruntley. Gruntley. Time to visit the bank, yeah? Don't you think I've got enough demands being made on me at the moment? I don't understand. No. Nobody bloody understands, do they? Uh, maybe if you stayed sober for a week, you'd be able to honour your debts. Right. Come on, then. Where's your car? I'll honour my flaming debts. Gruntley! This had better be right. Oh, there's something wrong with the machine. I'm sorry, Tom. One last chance. And I'll be able to give you 250 and the rest tomorrow. Oh, would you believe it? Hi, Davina. What? Uh, when? Right, well, um, I'll be as quick as I can. Yeah, OK. Bye. We brought the musical forward to this afternoon. Best not hung about. Let's get back to school. Oi, you don't get away with it that easy. Oh, I'll have to nip to the house, see what I've got in the home safe. The home safe? You wouldn't be going to the bookies by any chance, would you? Give it a rest, Tom. You'll get your money. And when we get to my place, wait in the car. Fleur, love, it's only me. This morning. Is there something wrong, Grantley? No, no. Grantley. Grantley. Grantley, what's going on? Uh, it's only Tom from school, dear. No nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. You haven't got any furniture, mate. Or hasn't she noticed? She hasn't been downstairs for three weeks. All right. Well, what's wrong with her? Just explain to me how that is any of your business. Sure, you're All right, come on, it's time you weren't here. Oh, I just wish you'd said something before. You can't carry on living like this. Don't you tell me what I can and can't do, as if you are remotely interested. If you gave a monkey, she'd have asked me about Fleur well before this. I've had a few troubles of my own, haven't I? Oh, well, I suggest you get back to them and stop sticking your nose in where it isn't wanted. Grandma, you need help, you both do. You will get your money payday. That's a promise. Go on. <laughs> He's a cheeky get. Grantley, what was he saying about the furniture? Right, <laughs> let's get you settled. I don't understand. Yeah, and then I'm gonna have to go. I don't want to give Frau Mason another stick to peep me with. You get torn into those cakes. Cheer yourself up. Someone mentioned you might be here. No, I'm, I mean, what are you doing at the school? I needed to get out. You said so yourself. Grant me, love. What's happened to all our furniture? I've gambled it all away. That flat screen tally we got for your birthday. Everything. How much? Best part of five grand. I still owe two. That's it. No more, I promise. It just got out of hand. Well, 
I got a grip before I knew it. Oh, I've let you down. Badly. No, you haven't. Look, I haven't been much help over these last few months. Being ill, all the strain I've put on you, it's me who should be saying I'm sorry. Don't be daft. <laughs> Look, we've got a couple of puffets out in the garage. We'll, we'll make do with them now. And there's that sale at that, you know, the place where they the are. The perpetual <laughs> sale. <laughs> Look, we'll use some of Aunt Hilde's money. I know you didn't get your hands on that. Not for want of trying, believe me. Oh, we're a right pair, the two of us, aren't we, eh? But we'll get through this.